Taggett here with Greystone Investment Group, where you invest and we do the rest. And I'm excited to work with Jessica Jackson, one of our agents here at Greystone. And she is our corporate rental specialist. And she is going to tell us a little bit about the corporate rentals and about what's going on in the industry and kind of give us an insight about what these are. So um, I'd like to introduce Jessica Jackson. And if you could tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, I actually have a background in mortgage. Um, I have some experience processing loans. Um, I've had my license since about 2018. Um, I was born and raised in the Tampa Bay area. Um, I grew up with my dad who loved investing in properties. He was always flipping homes, running homes, doing something like that. So I always had a passion for like designing with him and helping him out with that. So we're actually on the process of getting started getting our whole family together on doing some of these these renovation homes too so very cool yeah and i'm excited to have you kind of talking to us and and through about the corporate rentals and kind of what what is your take what is a corporate rental could you explain that to the people that are new to that industry yeah absolutely so usually they're furnished suites um they're usually a lot larger than just your normal typical uh, hotel. Um, they're fully equipped with all the amenities of a normal home. Um, they're usually lower priced than a hotel. Um, however, the turnaround is like three, two to three times higher. Um, it's ideal for people that are like traveling nurses or contractors that are on, you know, jobs for a certain amount of time and need a place to stay for a longer period. Yep. Great. Great. And I know this is kind of, kind of something new in the industry. So people are, are questioning, is this similar to an Airbnb or is it a long-term tenant? Is it kind of something in the middle? It's kind of something in the middle. Yeah. It's more not um, location. It would be more towards your business locations, more towards like universities, um, you know, commute communities, not so much beaches or, you know, popular areas like that. We'd stay more towards like the business side. Very cool. And what happens, say, say you have a problem with one of the tenants and, uh, and, you know, when you have a long term tenant, they move out, then you're stuck with whatever happened when they were in the house. But what happens when the tenant moves out and they say they break something at one of your uh, corporate rentals? So we do keep a company card on file um, in case anything happens like that. Um, we do collect security when we do the reservation. So all of those bases are covered as far as, you know, anything getting destroyed or anything, you know, happening that wasn't supposed to. That's, that's extremely handy because I know when uh, people go through and, you know, they break a, a window or they rip some of their, your furniture, then you can recover that. So, um, so what's the most important thing about these rentals? A lot of the agents were wondering what is really important about these rentals? So we concentrate more on, you know, the bones of the house, the furnishings. Um, it doesn't have to be completely up to date when we're looking at properties to invest in corporate rentals. Um, we want to concentrate on having a bigger home for property more people to stay that are traveling, um, more room to, tenants. you know, have And um, is this something versus, that you know, Greystone could handle? Instead of just a long-term tenant, could we also handle corporate rentals, short-term tenants? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we have our own branch. Um, they can do the advertising, they maintain the property, and they can also do the cleaning out after the tenant has left. Very good. Very good. Um, okay, so do we have contract uh, contacts with vendors that can help with furnishing? We have a lot of investors that we work with out of state or out of country. Do we have vendors that can help us with furnishing those properties for them and getting them going with as a corporate rental? Oh yeah, absolutely. So we've been very successful in having um, vendors that will come in and furnish. We have, like you said, a lot of investors that are out of state and can't be here to furnish them. So we can give them information on them and reach out to them and get the house set up for that. That's really good and handy, especially with our, our investors that are out of town. I know we've done that a few times with uh, some of the investors and it works really well. What would you say the average um, rate on a rental would be monthly um, compared to a long-term tenant uh, for a corporate rental? So typically, let's say if we're looking at like a three-bedroom home, um, long-term, you would probably get about 1200 a month. Um, if you're doing corporate, you would probably be more around the 3500 a month. 
Yeah, and and I know um I know that seems kind of high. Um, I know when you say that, I think, oh, why is that so hot, so much higher? Um, that, so the the owners do pay for the utilities on this, so that does uh, take that burden off of the tenant, but also because it's uh, more convenient for them. Would you say for the for the tenants? Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, you pretty much go into this house and it's completely furnished, ready to go. Um, you just go to work or whatever you're contracted for, for that. And then you come home and it's a perfect home. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you're getting a lot more out of it for that aspect. Very cool. And yeah, and I know that a lot of people have used Airbnbs, they've used VRBOs in the past when they're traveling. So it's very similar to that same structure, just monthly. So if we can imagine that kind of structure and then having that as our own property, the return on investment is huge. So we're gonna put some uh, some information below on the return on investment so you can see how it works and see what is included and see what a cash on cash return would be. And um, if you are interested in getting a corporate rental, Jessica has been specializing in finding those properties for investors and so I'll have your information below and people can contact right below um, your email and your phone number and uh, so that we can get everybody in contact with you and you can start helping them find their corporate rental in Tampa. Yeah absolutely and then I'll also have my website down there with a lot of information on the corporate rentals um, everything on there that you need to know to start the process of it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Jessica, for being here with us today. And we really appreciate you here with Greystone, your huge asset, giving these investors multiple exit strategies and a better cash on cash return from their investment. And so we're very excited to offer these to our investors and to help them find these properties. Yep, All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you thank so you. much, Jessica, and have a good day. You too.